Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a really short little um, exercise sketch of a sloth. And I'm going to just, you know, go right to town. This is watercolor paper. Uh, I'm using a Copic or Copic marker. Um, I do have watercolors that I probably will finish this up with, but um, you know I'm using a brush, so I'm gonna go really light with this to start with. Um, you know, just to get kind of a feeling of exactly what I'm interested in doing. Um, over the past few days, I've, I've you know had a lot of opportunity to. Kind of reflect. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff for Universal Studios, and the client that I've been um, working with <clears throat> um, hasn't contacted me, um, which is fine. You know that kind of happens in the business a lot of times. You know the clients you work with, they basically, you know, they have a lot of meetings and stuff like that. So that's no big deal. But it gives me an opportunity to kind of sit back and and kind of reflect on what exactly I've been doing lately and that's what you know kind of I've been doing and that's what this is right here this is kind of a um, kind of a reflection piece I'm gonna come in here and, and just really enjoy you know the process of creating this little you know this little character so I'm not doing a caricatured caricature this is basically using my reference and I'm gonna basically you know do it you know the best of my ability you know. so So basically what I've done is I've created a really quick gesture um, of the sloth. You know, the sloths are very cute, especially baby sloths. And I think that's what this is. This is a baby sloth. At least that's what it looks like in my reference. They've got this little mask that comes around, kind of goes around their eyes. and. And that is, um, you know, with their mask, you kind of kind of sculpt it. I've always looked at sloths with, with, you know, just a real enjoyment of what they look like. They're such incredible looking characters. I watched the show Zootopia recently, and and the creators of that particular program really you know hit the nail on the head as far as design of what the sloth looks like and and uh, you know with flash it was it's just a real enjoy if you haven't seen it I highly recommend you to go see it it's a great program it's got a great story to it <clears throat> it's got some political wares that you have to be aware of whenever you go in but I expect that now from uh, from Pixar and Disney they put their you know their own little their own little thing on there you know, and it's a good message, you know, you know, you don't judge people on, uh, you know, what they look like or where they come from, and, and those are good, those are good messages for people, so, um, anyway, so, I'm going and I'm doing the fur, and the secret of fur, a lot of people try to draw every single strand of fur, and that's the mistake that a lot of beginners make, and it, and it becomes an overwhelming factor in their design, and they're like, oh, I gotta draw every piece of fur. The funny thing is with fur is the less you do, a lot of times, the better it, it, it is, you know, and it's like you you draw the, you know, the basics and it kind of gives it a fuller effect. It's like the more strands you draw, the less furry it looks, you know, if I do this and it kind of looks, it, it looks much fuller than it would be if I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna come around, we're gonna come back. Draw his little uh, 
little pupils in here with the eye shine. So, and I'm going to come back with a different tone of marker here in a second. Again, I don't want to get I don't want to get too detailed with this just yet because I'm a just trying to work in the basics, you know, get that gesture and get that, use the reference. Don't be a slave to your reference, but also you definitely use your reference. If it's there, you know, you want to be correct with the anatomy, you know. Just a simple, I'm putting in a simple background, something that doesn't detract from the uh, overall piece itself. And, you know, they've got these claws that come in here. Because the sloths have really <laughs> intense claws to be able to stay on the trees. You know, again, these aren't designed to be finished, you know, 10 hour illustrations. They're, they're designed to be just, you know, simple warm ups. And I do 10 hour illustrations and I do all those things. I just can't show anybody, unfortunately, because of the nature of, of uh, the business that I work in. You know, you sign non competes you sign all these things that you can't really share your artwork until basically it's over. Occasionally on Facebook, I'll, um, you know, Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, I'll, I'll post <clears throat> some of the, uh, you know, the finished products because I'm not allowed to post any of the concept art to the internet and I'm not allowed to post any of the finished sketches to the <laughs> internet a lot of times. So you're like, well, dang, what can you post to show that you've done the work? Well, you can post the finished product, you know, just like if I was any other Joe Schmo going out there and, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from E15 and da, 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 E18, E15, kind of get of a light, kind of a light brown maybe? Okay, we're going to try this one. I'm not sure about this one. This is sand, you know. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I like that a lot. That'll work. So we'll come around. Come around. It's got a little bit of a, you know, come around. And I love using this watercolor paper because of the fact that it, it just soaks up the, um, you know, the marker. And, and I'm basically treating it very similar to what I would a watercolor piece, you know, and blocking in the colors and, and just really enjoying the, um, get the shadow right here. And if you notice, a lot of times, I'm not sitting here and I'm not noodling, you know, I'm not sitting here noodling with, you know, the, the mundane details of the, the gesture and the piece. I'm really going in loose. And there's, there's definite value to that, you know, and, and learning, you know, that process and, <clears throat> and practice, 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 practice. I've said that a billion times. So, anyway... This was just a really quick um, animal study for you guys today. I've had a, a couple of quests for you know your your mechs and your techs, um, not techs, but your mech, you know your your transformers. I had somebody that actually um, requested a transformer yesterday, and 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 that's fine. I've done transformers before. It's just stuff like that is, is, is a little bit more involved, so I've got to plan out, you know, what exactly I want to do. Let me give this a little, a little bit of more of a smile. And I'll darken in his nose a little bit more so you see that a little bit better. He's got some shine on his nose. 
And again, we've got a little bit of indication of fur around his eyes, which I think you guys can appreciate. You know, and maybe he's got a little bit that goes around. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this particular drawing today. Again, thank you guys for everything that you do. Um, you know, I know that you know one could argue, oh, you don't do much, but just watch the video and enjoy it. But what you guys do is give me a platform. You give me a platform to share, you know, the knowledge that I've obtained over the years and years to teach you and to hopefully inspire you to become a better artist. I know some artists out there that have been in the business, and, and I talk to a lot of artists just because I like to get their viewpoint on stuff. They, you know, they're, they're, they've been in the business for a while, and they feel so uninspired and, and kind of distraught in, in, in the fact that they, you know, either they don't have consistent work or, you know, the work that they have is the same pay that they've been receiving for, you know, five, six, seven, eight years, and, and they've lost that zeal for what they do and I just want to say you know don't look towards your job for fulfillment and don't look towards your job for identification of who you are those are the things that you need to find for yourself those are the things that you know you need to find on your own you know for the longest time I basically somebody would ask me so how you doing Oh, I'm doing good busy and it's all that's always the typical answer you should identify and say, hey, why am I saying that I'm busy all the time? <laughs> you should say, you know, if somebody asks you how you are, I'm, I'm doing great, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really delving deep into the, uh, into the world of visual art. You know, I do stuff every single day, but that, that's just my job. What I'm really interested in is, is, you know, seeing how, you know, certain animals work. You know, what's the dynamic? You know, what's the story I can tell? I got this really cool story that I'm telling. You know, and I'm thinking about making a book. And, and, and you need to think, well, why am I making a book? Am I making a book to make money? No. You know, don't, don't think money is the, the end-all purpose. And, I, and that's, that's what I think ultimately we should start looking at. And, and stop identifying yourself with your job. You know, if you work at Disney, great. If you work at Universal, great. But at the end of the day, who are you really? What are you trying to accomplish in this world as an artist, as a visual person, as somebody that is creating art every day? <clears throat> what are you trying to do? What's, what's your deal? You know, that's, that's what I always like to know. What's your deal? You know? Who are you as a visual artist, as a visual person, as somebody that's doing this every day? Um, and that's what I kind of have a question lately. What, why am I doing this? Am I doing this for a paycheck? Am I doing it to, you know, make money? Because we all got to make, you know, money to survive. And it's just one of those, I guess, constant philosophical questions that, that I ask myself, you know, why, why I'm doing certain things. You know. So anyway, that is this. I'm not going to go on time lapse with us today, so you guys kind of get a, a feel of exactly how long one of these pieces takes. Typically, it's it's no longer than it takes to sit and enjoy a cup of coffee. You know, that's the reality. I can sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee, or I could, you know, sit and practice. Or you can do both. Have a cup of coffee first and then sit down and do this. Maybe that'll inspire you to get a little bit better at things. Anyway, so this is today's sketch. And what this is going to be titled, I think, at least for me, because I've been you know, going through a lot in terms of my career and, and basic um, you know, questioning of where I am and what I'm doing, is, you know... You gotta hang on, man. You gotta hang on. You know, you don't know if that door of opportunity is gonna open up. You don't know when that door of opportunity is going to swing wide. And 
you know, is it going to be an opportunity that's going to better you? And is it going to be a better situation for your family? Is it going to be, you know, because, you know, you always need to question, <clears throat> even though it's going to be more money, it's going to be, you know, more prestige, all those things fade. And you really need to say, you know, what's the longevity? How, how's this going to better my family and myself? So anyway, that is where we're at today. And I guess I'll do a couple more little doodads here and there with this. And that'll pretty much wrap it up. Thank you guys again for liking, subscribing, and sharing. It makes a huge difference, especially in the um, in the rung of Google Analytics. Whenever you know, if you have a popular channel that YouTube views um, as being something that they can market and make money off of, then they're going to promote you much heavier than they will if you know you don't have any subscribers. Um, so the, the subscriber base helps. Everything helps. You know, the subscriber base, the comments. Um, you know, I do know that you guys, some of you guys have had interest in me doing certain characters and stuff like that, and that's fine. Disney characters I can do. Um, Universal characters, Harry Potter, um, pretty much any character that you want me to do, you know, I'll try and work it into the, into the schedule. So, anyway, again, thank you guys. And there is an opportunity for you to buy this particular sketch if you're interested. Um, I now have a big cartel um, site that you guys can, that I offer these particular sketches uh, for sale um, at, a, at a limited cost, for, you know, with shipping. So if you're interested in getting this particular sketch and it inspires you in some way, then I encourage you to go over and visit. And the link is in the description below. And we appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Thanks.